Hey, it's Scott Todd, and in today's Excel video tip of the week, I wanted to share with you the one little tool or the way that we actually um, separate city, state, and zip code when a county gives that to us. You know, you can't get a, a mailing list from a county and have it perfectly delivered to you. Sometimes you need to kind of manipulate the data and sometimes they give you the city, state, and zip code all together and you still have to go back and um, you know kind of manipulate it into the separate columns. Stop, uh, let me show you, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are in Excel, you'll see that we have our list here. There's a one column that says city, state, zip code, and I need it in the three columns. So, you know, you could do the normal, you know, manual labor of cutting, pasting, trim, trim all that stuff. We're not going to do that. We're going to work smart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these three columns right here because I need to insert three columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them. I'm going to hit, uh, I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to hit Control Shift Plus, and that's going to add my three columns. I'm going to go ahead and give them uh, titles here, city, state, and zip code. There we go. Now. What I'm gonna do is, and I've made this so easy for you, I'm gonna give you basically this Excel template that you can use. I'm gonna tell you at the end how to get it. It's free, I'm gonna tell you how to get it so that you can use this as you need to, but check this out. I'm just gonna copy this down. I'm gonna copy the city state zip code over here. I have put into this Excel spreadsheet this tab over here, and in this tab, you'll see that, you'll notice that in city state zip code, I already have the formulas that you need right there. So what I'll do is I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to paste that. Voila, city, state, zip code is all cleaned. It's separated, but I still have some cleanup to do to it. So let me show you what I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this column here. I'm going to take these three columns. I'm going to copy them. I'm going to come back over here, and I'm just going to paste them right back over here into my, my file that I'm working with. I, I, what I should have done is I should have done paste value. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this up. Let me undo it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to right click, do paste special values. And when I do that, you'll notice that the formula here is no longer, the formula is no longer here. So I can delete this combined file on my master worksheet. And now I still need to do some cleanup to this. What do I need to do first? I need to, um, first thing I need to do is I need to, to make sure that all of these zip codes are zero, uh, you know, have the proper digits, four, not four digits, five digits, right? And I've shown previously how to do that, but I'll just do it again real fast. I'm gonna come over here, right click, format cells, come to special, there's a couple ways you can do it, special zip code, or you can do it manually. Um, let me come over here, I'm gonna do this again. It's custom. One, two, three, four, five, boom. It's not working. Let's, let me investigate. Okay, so the reason this is not uh, working for me real fast is this, it's telling me right here, like you see this little um, exclamation point? When I click that, it says this number is formatted as a text. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna convert this to a number. Now that I've converted it to a number, I can come over here and do format cell cells. I'm just going to do special zip code. Boom. I have that. I now have my five digit zip codes in there. Perfect. The last thing that I want to do though, is I want to clean this up because I don't want the commas at the end here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to do a find and uh, in Excel, I'm going to do a find and replace. So I'm just going to do replace right here. And what I'm going to tell it to do is when it sees a, co a comma in that column, just replace it with, with a blank. So I don't have to put anything there. When I see a comma, replace it with a blank and replace all. It's found 22 instances, close. So now what I have is I have a properly formatted list with city, state, zip code. City looks clean, state looks good. My zip codes are all five digits. I am ready to rock and roll. Very quick, very simple. I hope that you found this tip you know, very helpful. I want to give you the Excel file. So what I want you to do is I want you to go over to scotttodd.net forward slash Excel city, Excel city all together. And I'll, I'll put the link right below me right here. 
go there, you can download the Excel file with the formulas so you don't have to recreate the formulas. It's made easy for you. It's, it's like having your own easy button. And if you found this to be valuable, please leave your comments wherever you're watching this, YouTube, Facebook, or on scotttodd.net. Please make sure that you leave comments and I will see you again soon. Have a great week.